بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم صلی اللہ علیہ و آلہ وسلم اللہ رب ضدنی علماء صلی اللہ علیہ و آلہ وسلم آمین الحمد للہ رب العالمین کنٹینیوس ڈسٹریبیوشن ان ٹیسٹنگ آف ہائپوتیس از دی ٹاپک آف دس لیکچر ایف ایچ ون انوالوس اے لیسر سائن دین وی پرفارم دی لوور ٹیل ٹیسٹ اینڈ میک شیور یو رائٹ میو ہیئر In continuous distribution, we always write mu. In discrete distributions, we used to write p for binomial and lambda for Poisson. So when h1 involves a lesser sign, then we perform a lower tail test and the critical region is on left side of the zero. This is the critical region and this is the boundary of the critical region. Critical region also known as the rejected region of H0. Here we reject H0. And this is the accepted region of H0. Here we accept H0. In testing, we check whether our test value lies here or here. If the test value lies here, we reject H0. If the test value lies here, we accept H0. There are three types of tests. The lower tail test. When H1 involves a lesser sign, that is, when we are looking for a decrease in mu, then we perform the lower tail test and the critical region is on left side of the zero. Let's suppose alpha is 5%, then if you are using your calculator, then you just need to put 0 0.05 in your calculator for this value. And if you are using normal distribution table, then this area is 95%, you just need to find phi inverse 0 0.95 in the normal distribution table. And and you'll get 1.645, you need to put negative sign yourself. The upper tail test. When H1 involves a greater sign, then we perform the upper tail test. And greater sign means when we are looking for an increase in mu. In this case, the critical region is on right side of the zero. If alpha is 10%, then you can easily get this value. This value is known as critical, Z critical, Z critical, 1.282 in this case. If you are using normal distribution table, you just need to find 90%. Phi inverse 0.9, okay. I mean, from table you'll get 1.282. The two tail test, well, when H1 involves a not equal sign, that means when you are looking for a change in mu, then we perform the two tail test. If alpha is 5%, then this 5% is divided into equal parts. 2.5% here, 2.5% here. There are two critical regions. If you are using normal distribution table, then get this area, 97.5%. Phi inverse 0.975. And you'll get this value. And this value is same, just put negative sign. There are two possibilities in two tail test. If the test value x is less than mu, then you have to check the test value here. You, you perform the lower tail test. If the test value x is less than mu, then perform the lower tail test. And if the test value is greater than mu, then perform the upper tail test. Let's suppose test value is 35 and mu is 28, then perform this test. Well, confidence intervals of sampling are very important in testing of hypothesis. You must understand confidence intervals very well to be good at testing and both, I mean sampling as well. I will discuss this in my next lecture, inshallah. Good luck, Allah Hafiz.